at Swan Lake Nature Sanctuary in Saanich looking for the endangered western painted turtle. Swan Lake is one of the core habitats for this endangered species of turtle. The Vancouver Island subspecies of the turtle is located all the way from Souk to Galliano and we have quite a few of the adults here in this pond that are nesting every year up by the nature house and around the private properties of this lake. The native painted turtle is a low, smooth shell, and uh, this is quite typical of the size of a painted turtle, about a teenager. The released pets that we have also at Swan Lake tend to be a much larger turtle with a domed shell, more like a helmet. The habitat at Swan Lake is a very shallow uh, pond that has uh, lots of vegetation around the outside edges and floating logs where the turtles can bask. A turtle needs to bask in order to pop the scoots or scales off of the shell so that this entire skeleton can grow. And some people think that maybe a turtle can pop out of its shell, but that's not true. Its vertebra is fused right to the shell. Did you know that Hat is working with Swan Lake Nature Sanctuary on turtle research? Right here, we're at an experimental plot for the nesting mothers to lay their eggs different types of soils to see what they like. We also have a nesting camera so we can record any of the activities that occur here. Wrinkles, you can see, has a red bottom and that's an indicator of the western painted turtle. She also has yellow stripes on her arms and legs and she has no red ear spot that's typical of the pet turtles that are released. Don't ever touch a turtle unless it's in mortal danger from traffic or pets or other things like that. Did you know that it's never a good idea to release pets into the wild? Particularly turtles and other amphibians and reptiles might introduce disease into natural systems that could affect our native painted turtles. If residents of the Capital Regional District have slow moving streams, wetlands or ponds they think might be western painted turtle habitat, they should give us a call at the Land Trust for a free and confidential visit where we can identify the potential habitats and if you do have the turtle, what you can do to protect the rare habitats that protect it. As a habitat steward, we'll recognize you with this sign if you like and you might see these around the region where people are protecting species at risk.